Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is an E32 Bobcat. This is a uh, mini excavator with a thumb. It's got some other attachments. Uh, the serial number of this machine is, uh, it's A like Apple, 94H like Henry, 1534. I'm gonna leave that last digit blank. Um, in this video, we're gonna talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and then we'll run it in the third. If you buy this tractor from me or, or some of the others that I have for sale, we got a couple of excavators, we got a dozer, um, we've got some rough terrain scissor lifts, we've got a couple of backhoes, a service uh, We've got that little crawler loader right there. Um, Anyway, if you buy this, any of these tractors from me, you're going to be dealing with uh, the guy running the camera. His name is Pro Provencio. He's my right-hand man. So uh, price on a new machine like this these days is, uh, I don't know, 60 to 65000 This machine currently has uh, 1,926 hours on it on a working hour meter. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Bobcat's pretty ubiquitous out there when it comes to uh, uh, smaller equipment. I'd say they're probably number one in the world. Uh, the weight of this machine is 7,183 pounds. The widest point is actually, it's not the tracks, it's actually the body, which is five foot one inches, and the tracks are five foot. This blade right here is, uh, five foot so um, that's the widest point the highest point is the top of that cab at eight foot two inches the transportation link from the end of this uh, strike off blade to the front of the knuckle when it's in transport profile is 15 foot four inches uh, comparable machines are like your older model Bobcat uh, 331 maybe a cat 303 or maybe like uh, the newer Komatsu PC-30. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because we don't live or work in a corrosive environment. We're 300 miles from the ocean and we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. Just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different contractors, large contractors and municipalities that we deal with here in the Metroplex. This particular machine uh, came from a, uh, this machine actually came from a friend of mine, a smaller <coughs> contractor. It was one of his only machines, so uh, he took care of it. He took real good care of it. He called me one day and asked me if I wanted to buy it. He didn't need it anymore, and I said, okay. So um, he took really good care of it, but uh, I should say that before I buy any machine, it doesn't matter who's selling it, we thoroughly inspect the machines. I have two guys go out and inspect the machine, and if they say everything's okay, then I say, send Pro Prevents you out to go uh, inspect the machines, and if he says everything's okay, then I personally go out and I inspect the machine if the money's right. As far as options go, you can see here it's got a uh, it's got a strike off blade. It's got a uh, rubber tracks. It's got a pattern control change valve right there. Show them that for It's got an offset boom which will allow you to dig parallel to your tracks. It's got a quick coupler. Now this is a mechanical quick coupler as opposed to a hydraulic quick coupler. Um, does this one have a key battery disconnect? Uh, no. I don't, yeah, I didn't. No, this one does not. Okay, it's got auxiliary hydraulics. Uh, it's got a thumb. This piece of concrete right here, this is, um, 
This is high density, what they call high density heavyweight concrete. This, uh, this isn't your normal concrete. This piece of concrete right here probably weighs about eight or 900 pounds. Pro tried to lift it earlier with his own two hands and he can only lift like uh, 600 pounds. So <laughs> I'm kidding of course, but uh, this is uh, that's a heavy piece of concrete, which is nothing for this machine. Um, I think that's it as far as options. It's obviously an open cab machine. Um, let me see if it's got a 12 volt in the cab. Yeah, it's got a uh, it's got a little 12 volt uh, cigarette outlet there, so you can plug your iPhone in or whatever. Um, as far as the engine goes, this is a 24.8 uh, Kubota diesel engine. That is a common engine. That, that engine is found in Komatsu's and John Deere's and Caterpillar's and uh, gosh, uh, just everything. That, that's a bulletproof engine. Uh, it's a, this machine's got a 13.7 uh, gallon fuel tank, which will run you from 12 to as many as 16 hours of uh, operation, you know, depending on your uh, depending on your uh, application of course i mean if you're dogging it you probably only get 12 hours but if you're got light digging and whatnot you're probably looking at 16. Um, all of the fluid levels on this machine are where they should be this machine is mechanically sound there's no leaks on it everything works uh, the transmission is a two-speed transmission uh, the top speed is uh, 2.9 miles an hour. The reason they got two speed transmissions is that uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're doing some dozer work with your little strikeout blade there, you wanna put it in the lower, lower transmission. This undercarriage is about 85%. There's no leaks on those final drives. They've got plenty of power, enabling them to counter rotate with no problem. The hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in this work equipment. All of the pins and the bushings are relatively tight. There's no deflection or any kind of problem in this turntable area or this Rotec bearing. Uh, you can see the teeth here. These teeth are about 85%. <laughs> this bucket is a 17 inch bucket. It's actually considered a 16 inch bucket, but it's got a it's got a uh, cutting edge on it. Uh, we may, uh, we'll show you that bucket a little better. We'll take this thing off and uh, show you the bucket. It's, it's, um, it's uh, 25 foot high and 20, 25 inches high and 25 inches deep. It's probably considered about a 10th of a yard. The uh, maximum reach for this machine at ground level from the center of the swing is 16 foot, three inches. The maximum dig height is 11 foot. Maximum breakout force is 6,969 pounds. Uh, the maximum lifting capacity for this machine is 2,969 pounds when this, uh, at ground level. Um, the shoe width here is, uh, these are 12 inch uh, pads. You got six foot of track on the ground, which gives you a PSI rating of about 3.9. So what's, what's the significance of that? Me standing here with these boots, I'm six foot one, I weigh about 200 pounds. My, uh, my PSI rating's about, about 17 PSI. This is four PSI. So this tractor will walk where, you, where, a, where a man can't. So, um, Oh, the dozer, the dozer blade. This is 14 inches tall. 
And again, it's five foot uh, wide. An interesting thing about this machine is that uh, the drawbar pull is pretty significant. It's, the drawbar pull is defined as the amount of weight the machine can push or pull in addition to its own weight. And uh, in the case of this machine, its drawbar pull is 8,000 pounds. So it'll pull or push 8,000 pounds in addition to its own weight. So, uh, yeah, everything on it works. Uh, Pro, you got, think of anything else? No, I pretty much got it covered. What do you think of the pre machine, Pro? I like it. It starts right up and uh, everything's really tight on it and it's really strong. Pro, Pro wants to take this machine to the ranch and I told him if we don't sell it, he can, he can use it. Pro's also my brother, so <laughs> he gets to use stuff for free. How about whoever buys it? Can I borrow it from them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna run it in the next clip. Okay, this machine has a keyless uh, deal. I'll show you a little bit in the cab, but it starts with a code. Show you guys how to undo this uh, this, this thing here. You want to take a picture first? Go ahead and kill it. Kill it. You. Okay. By the way, I was dropping that concrete on purpose. I just wanted to show the uh, weight so you could feel the gra the ground move. So basically, all you do to take this uh, this thumb apart is you take this uh, this keeper pin out. this and you put your pin in and this you set off to the side and you keep it in the cab of the machine
Okay, so this is the inside of the cab here. That This is just mud that I splashed on from the dropping that rock and that piece of concrete. So uh, here's your, uh, I'm gonna put the code in real quick. See, now the code's in, now I hit start. All the gauges work. Here's your warning for the different options for your controls. This, whenever you saying I don't have a seatbelt on because I don't, when you put this down, it shows that your hydraulics are open and unlocked when you put that down. So, uh, this is your cap. This operates your swing right here. 